There you are. Hi. How nice of you to join me. Let's go. I've been told that today we can see some of the Anvil ships. And the people that I spoke with, well, at least some of them, told me that one of the special ships that we can see from Anvil is the Anvil Carrick. A big ship, an exploration ship. And I thought we might take one of those ships out for a spin today. But, just like before, we need to go to the convention center first. The city really does look nice here at night, doesn't it? Stand clear. Tram now leaving the sure, sure, I'll stand clear. Stand clear oh yes, it does. Huh. The other end. Hi there. <laughs> A friend, I suppose. What is that? I've never seen that before. That looks like some sort of shield. Hmm. Well, the architectural design of the 30th century has certainly changed from, well, my century. So, uh, yeah. All right, so let's see. I've been told that this is the last day that we're going to see the annual ships, so maybe it's the annual ships, otherwise it will be... Well, the ships, I can't remember what they said that would come instead. Now Let's see. Out here. Well, let's go. Oh yeah, while you were away, I bought some merchandise. I bought myself a shirt. A misc shirt and a misc hat. So now I'm a true fan of the misc ships. Well, that's not a lie. I actually am. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought the Freelancer Max, you know. Nice ship. I can show you them if you want something similar. Or if you want... Some... What's going on here? Are you shooting the shirt? So what the... Well, so if you want an anvil... Aerospace, that's the one you can get here. If you want a... Uh, Ages? What the hell is that cat I can hear in the background? Maybe it's a cat in here somewhere? Hmm. The Ages, if you want the shirt of that. Robert Space Industries, Argo. I suppose there's a shirt for every taste in here. Oh yes, I can show you something else. I also bought the jacket here, the Invictus flight jacket. Have I told you this before? No. Well, I'm getting older, you know. <laughs> so let's see what we can see. Yeah, still Anvil. I hope that. I really wanted to see the Carrick. I have never seen it before, but I've been told that it is really something special. If you think big ships, well, except the javelin that I showed you, of course. And those guys as well. Did someone attack you? Or what are you doing? Why do you have your gun out? Oh well. Whoa. Is that it? My god, it's huge. Let's get down and take a look. Now, like I said, Anvil is the creator of most of the... Well, I suppose I should say it the other way around. What Anvil mostly creates is... Um, military vessels, so I expect that is what we're going to see most of here. Military ships. The F-7A, 
Is that the Hornet? I think it's the Hornet. I can't see. It looks like a Hornet. It looks like the Hornet I also have. And the guns <laughs> seem to have a problem shooting down in the ground. Then we have this here. I think this is the Lightning F something. Lightning F8 stands right there. Let me see. Yes, and the Lightning F8. Let's take a look at the other one over here. I believe that the F7A is the Hornet. Yeah, Anvil Hornet. Wow. Let's go take a look. I want to see the Carrick right now. Jeez, that ship is big. Let's see. So, uh, uh, those guys as well. What the heck is going on here? Did you fight a war? Wow. Look at those ships. There certainly is a lot more ships here than we saw the last time. And that is... Oh, what is that? No. The Carrick first. You know what? I think I'm just going to rent it right now. Can I do that? I need to get closer. Wow. Oh man, this is a big ship. Jeez. This is not just big, this, it's huge. Yeah. Rent. Right now. Thank you. I think I need to jump into it and run at the same time, so... Uh, are you ready? One, two, three, run! And uh, jump! Yes, we got in. Wow. Wow. This... Jeez, this is a big ship. So what is that? <laughs> I want to press all the buttons I can find. What happened? Race ramp. Oh. Oh, so this is some sort of vehicle bay. Yeah, I suppose it looks like a vehicle ramp as well. And what do we... Closed door? No, it's okay. I suppose it's that ramp there you'll close. Let's see how big this ship actually is. Cargo room. What do we have here? The elevator. Nice. Now let's, let's look. Could you please open? Hello. Alright, let's try again. Yeah. So these are the cargo parts, I think they're called. Wow. Let's go down and take a look. They seem to be pretty big. Not as big as the... I've been told that one of the biggest ships regarding cargo is some ship called a... It's, 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 a, it, it's a worm, it's some... Uh, what's it? Ca ca caterpillar. Yeah, that's it. Caterpillar should be the biggest ship, but this... Wow. There's another cargo room. Similar. And another one. Wow. And that's it. So what do we have here? Weapon storage. How oh, cool. Can I close it? Yeah, I've been told that, like I said, Anvil, they mostly create military vessels. So this is actually a... Well, usually you talk about militarized vessels, but this case it's a military vessel that has been civilized? I'm not sure what you would call it. So, where does it go after it? <laughs> let's, let's go down. You stay here while I check out the turret. Well, you can't come anyway, so... Oh. 
aerospace. All systems online. Something is wrong here. I'm coming up. Whatever you do, don't go down there. All right, let's continue. Wow, this is a huge ship, man. Lawrence Barnes. All right, well, let's see. Elevator. Let's try that. Let's see what happens. Suppose we don't need to explore it that well because we can do it when we take it out for a spin. I just want to check. Let's check the habitation deck. Mm. Can I get to? Thank you. Wow. Wow. This is so cool. Just to imagine. What is that? It looks like some kind of sick bay or something like that. Let's see. Medical. A decontamination area. How nice. Two beds. And a scanner. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Nothing to do here. All right. What's that? Doc's office. <laughs> so this is where the doctors work and they can get the readout from the scan. Nice. Really nice. Let's see what's over here. Storage room. So they have samples and medicine and all that. Wow. I can see why they say this is an exploration vessel. It's really huge. I wonder how many people can fit in here. Let's see what's down here. The meeting area. Let's go down there. Wow. So this is some sort of a conference room or something like that. Where you can get food and they even have spicy sauce. <laughs> How cool. Let's continue over to crew quarters. Nice. So let's see here we have toilets. Oh. That mirror must be defect. Huh. Strange. <laughs> Toilet. <laughs> oh, how cool. Oh. Even the toilets want privacy. And a pool table. Well, some. Something that looks like a pool table. But there doesn't seem to be any cues, so how do you play it? Oh, huh, well. Crew quarters. That was what I wanted, so one, two, three, four, five, five crew quarters, five beds. Can five people really control this huge ship? Showers. Nice. Let's see if we can find the captain quarters. I want to check that out. room. Computer screens. How about this chair? Uh, oh, maybe it's defect because I don't have arms that can stretch that long. 
Well, can't get it all, I suppose. What do we have here? What happened to the lighting? Oh, well. Bed, captain's bed, and captain's. Uh huh. That looks weird. <laughs> Maybe the mirror is defect in some way. I'm not sure. Bath. On, off, hot, cold, auto. How does auto work? Does it detect my body heat and then... Well, that's fine. Maybe the surrounding temperatures. What do I have here? It's locked. There's a room here. A closet where you can put stuff in I suppose all right I think I'm going to uh, let, let's go take a look at the bridge huh and then let's look at the other ships before we try out this huge huge vessel Wow look at that bridge you really can see everything from here and I've heard there should be two bridges so this is the Perhaps it's the battle bridge? I'm not sure about that. It does have the three seats. But there's an elevator here as well. Let's see if we can call it down. There it is. Upper bridge. Well, upper and lower bridge. Why not? Oh, yeah. So this is more of a standing type bridge, I suppose. Can you turn on anything? What? Anvil Aerospace, all systems online. Well, the screens don't come on, so I suppose nothing has happened. All right. Let's uh, take a look at the other ships before we uh, try this bad boy out here. Something is definitely going on with the lighting in here. So escape parts. Where are they? So the escape parts escaped or what? Oh, well. What is that? Oh, this is weird. Let's take a look. So what do we have? Do we have anything in here? No. No, there's nothing in here. But there's definitely something going on here. Let me see if I can get a... Drone controller seat. So this is a drone launching thing. And what's going on with the lighting in here? Alright, let's go out. Before I get crazy of this changing lighting all the time. What's this? What? Is that a shuttle bay? Anchor bay. Whoa. It is. So you can land some sort of small... What is that? Huh? <laughs> what the heck is that? It looks like a little alien missile or gun or something. But you can land a vessel in here? How cool is that? Well, it has to be a relatively small vessel. I don't think the freelancer would fit in here but maybe we can find some small ship out at the exhibit that will fit inside all right so if i'm not mistaken we can call the elevator it's already here and then it was the sub deck i think we can check out the other decks when we take out this 
take out this first beam. Alright. Cargo rooms. They don't react too well, these doors here. Oh. Maybe it's that ship out there, that little ship you can see. Maybe that's the one that's supposed to go into the top of this ship. Let's just jump down here. So this is the F7. This is also a Hornet. F7C. I think it's the F7C I have. I'm not sure about that. What do we have here? Looks like some sort of dropship. So it has guns there, look like Gatling guns. It is some sort of Gatling gun. And it seems that it also has two front mounted guns. And a turret. Um, with problems, that is, seems. Front mounted Gatling gun there. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's it called? The Valkyrie. Wow. What, what? The Valkyrie ups the ante on troop transport, designed to safely deliver and extract up to 20 soldiers as well as vehicles at their most hostile locations. This conflict-ready mil-spec craft is a formidable force, both offensively and defensively. Built with military, militia and private defense contractors in mind, the Valkyrie is the most efficient and effective personal transport in its class. So it is a, a transporter. It really looks tough. Not huge, but definitely also not small. And again, it seems if you want to take a look inside it, we have to jump. So, uh, hope you're ready. And jump! Ah, made it. Alright, so let's see. So this is some sort of door with... Oh, side-mounted guns that don't work. That's the way it is. So what do we have here? Ah, troop area. And the... Uh, the turret seat. And more troop area. So this is... It can... Yeah. Wow. It can hold a lot of troops. One, two, three... It's one, two, three, four, five, five, ten, twenty. I suppose there should also be the same amount of seats here. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so twenty soldiers. That is certainly a dropship then. And uh, stairs. To the bridge, perhaps? With more seats even, for what? Gunner seat? So what does the gunner do? Well, what does the gunner control? Anvil Aerospace, all systems online. Let's see, power of inter-remote turret. Oh! Those are the turrets on the wings. I see. 
so they're not even just guns, they're turrets. And the bridge area. Let's get to pilot seat. Continue. What is that? I didn't even notice that seat here. Top turret, perhaps? Enter turret, yes. So it's a turret on the top, I suppose. There's a bottom turret, a top turret, two side turrets. Power on. Oh, still can't move it. That is some ship. That is some guns. And it even, even even has a little light here too. I suppose it blinks when the people should be ready to... And <laughs> a bathroom even. And one, two, three, four, five, five bits of bunks. And a view to the landing area too. Let's go down. see some of the other ships. Should we take this? There we go. Alright, so we have seen the Hornet. What is that? That ship there. It also looks like some kind of Hornet. Not truly, but it's not a Hornet. It's definitely something else. What is it? The Anvil Arrow. Oh. Unmatched design, blazing tough speed and also responsive maneuverability make the Arrow the most agile scrapper in its class with a robust weapon package that provides firepower to spare. This is truly the classic light fighter updated for the next generation of combat. Nice. It does look a bit hefty, doesn't it? Alright, let's see. So we have the Carrick here. We're going to fly that bad boy out. What do we have up here? Let's run. I want to try the, the Carrick, so uh, let's see. What is this? Whoa, that is some guns. What do you have here? The Hurricane. So, big things do come in small packages. The Hurricane is a fighting spacecraft that packs a deadly punch into a slight fus fuselage. The spacecraft compensates for its lack of creature comfort with its powerful armament. Six, six guns capable of blasting their way through nearly anything. Hurricane pilots have yet something and enemy shield they can't knock down. Matt? Can't see for the, the light. Wow. Yeah, it certainly looks like a tough... Tough arm brace. What a... Hey! What is this ship here? It looks really strange. Let me take a look at from the... It looks like it's upside down. No, but it also has a... What the heck is that? It looks like it's cockpit is upside down. Let's see if we can get into it. Now I can rent it. Can we open it somewhere? No. Apparently not. What's it called? The Hawk. Let's see. A small light fighter with an emphasis on weaponry. The Hawk boasts an impressive arsenal of lethal and non-lethal weapons, making it a perfect ship for independent bounty hunters or local security looking for a little more punch. I see. 
But even though it's small, I think it's still too big to get into the carrack. So what is that? That's not a... It looks like they have sort of the same basic design from the Hornet and then have twisted it and turned it into different new designs. This also looks like a fighter plane. What is it? The Gladiator. The civilian model of the Gladiator appeals to those that want explore the verse with a bit of added security. Supporting a maximum of two, the Gladiator is perfectly equipped to explore and fight with or without a wingman. The civilian model allows pilots to choose between an extra cargo hold or a bomb bay. I see. Haha. Uh -huh. And then we have this, it looks like a smaller version of the uh, Valkyrie. Yeah, it's the Valkyrie. So what is that? Is this the, the, the te terra, terra, Terrapin? Yeah, the Terrapin. Presenting the Anvil Aerospace U483 Terrapin class scanning exploration ship. The Terrapin was developed near the end of the 20th century to serve as the first ship in the Empire's defensive restructuring of the Navy. The Terrapin's watchword is protection, with extensive shield systems and armor layer designed to provide the maximum possible defense for pilots and crew. While it lacks the maneuverability of a dedicated fighter, it does maintain an advanced hard hitting array of weapons intended to keep the most fearsome Vandal Raiders at bay. So most of the ships that I have here is apparently is designed for the Van Dual War, which is something I heard of but haven't explored. I can't get this way. All right. Well, that's. I want to try out that Carrick. I'm sorry. I know you want to want to look at some of the other ships, but uh, let's let's run. Come, run, run with me. Let's see the last one. What is this? Welcome to the Victor Ship Hall. All of the, the Anvil C8 Pisces? 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 I'm not sure how to pronounce that. With its compact frame, deft maneuverability, and seating for three, the C8 Pisces Snapcraft, included with every carrick, is built by Anvil Aerospace for scouting ahead or exploring environments inaccessible to its larger, car larger carrier ship. So this is the ship that goes with the Carrick in the in the top bay. But I don't think we have time to do that today. So let's. Uh, it looks pretty hefty, even though it's small. It really looks like some sort of small exploration shuttle. And there are two seats here for whoever want to be with the the driver, <laughs> the pilot. Oh well. Let's go and check out the the Pisces. Sorry, the Carrick. Let's run. I want to run all the way. I also need to drop by to get something to drink. Do you want some? And probably something to eat as well. He's still standing there with guns out for some reason. Come on. Go to the lobby. Let's go and explore a little bit. Yeah, I know. I left the anvil, something, 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 Pisces. <laughs> What is that? Oh, yeah, all right. Let's go. Let's see to area 18, to area 18 spaceport. Let's just go to the spaceport. I might be able to find something to drink there. Perhaps I can get something here. Let's see. Well, it certainly seems that we're selling something to eat. Hi, do you sell anything? No? Yes? What? No, apparently not. Oh well. 
I'll get something to drink and eat when you go home. That's okay. It's night. What a lovely starry night. Imagine to explore all of this in the Pisces. Sorry, not the Pisces. The who's, who's? Hmm. Is that my light? No, it's not my light. Stop it. Are you ready to take a good big look at that carrot? I am. I really am. Now let's go to the other end. <laughs> 